Hey y'all, let's make over this thrift store find using some paint, a Mod Podge, and fabric. First up, I'm going to paint the border using a color that matches the fabric I plan to use in the center of my wall decor. I'm using a new Mod Podge formula. It works on wood, fabric, everything, and it doesn't dry tacky, which is a really nice update to this time-tested formula. So I covered up the center of the board with a generous amount of the Mod Podge, and then I've pre-cut my fabric piece to fit in the center, and I'm using like a squeegee type tool to squeeze out the excess Mod Podge and to get all the air bubbles out. So you're gonna wanna keep you know feeling, make sure you got the wrinkles out, keep squeegeeing out the wrinkles until it's all nice and flat, and then leave it to dry. Then once it's dry, I'm going to paint another layer of the Mod Podge on top to help seal in all the edges. I'm using a matte formula because I want to keep that fabric look. I don't want it to have a glossy finish and the matte dried beautifully. You really can't even tell that there's any glue on top of this fabric after it dries. So next I'm using that same Mod Podge bottle to cover a 12 by 12 piece of three millimeter basswood with the Mod Podge. And I'm placing another piece of fabric on top of that. I went with a solid color so that my lettering will stand out. And again, I'm using my squeegee tool to get all that excess Mod Podge out. I wasn't sure if this was gonna work because next I'm taking it to my X-Tool laser cutter and I kind of held my breath, like, is this going to catch fire? Is this even going to cut through? And it cut like a dream. It was perfect. I love the way these letters turned out. See that? Perfect cuts. No fabric peeling off the edges. I'm going to be trying this out with a lot of other projects because fabric just gives it a different dimension. I'm using that same Mod Podge that I've been using. Now putting it on the back of my lettering so that I can attach it to the fabric base I'm using my brush to brush away any extra glue so this is really nice like if anything is excess it's not going to dry and show up later it's all invisible blended in last step is to distress the border with some sandpaper and there you have it i hope y'all give this project a try because it's so pretty in person